up everyone? Welcome back to a very special edition of Sunday Sense. I'm here at G1 Climbing and Fitness in Bloomfield, Colorado, just south of Boulder. I'm here for a weekend getaway with the wife. We've been seeing some really cool things in Boulder. It's a very charming college town. The main street, Pearl Street, has all these cool restaurants and bars and the views of the flat irons are just amazing. But I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little tour of this gym. I'm only here for about a quick hour and a half sesh. Why don't we just get right into it? Let's go. So I'm mainly just going to show you guys the bouldering area, which is upstairs, but you guys could see the uh, kilter board and the tension board behind me there. They have a really cool slab wall here. All the walls are about 15 feet high. I think I'm really going to like the area over here with the overhang. They have a lot of really nice modern holds that I don't have at the refuge in my home gym in Las Vegas. And you can see how overhung that piece is right there. This is about a 55 degree wall right here. And then just check out all the holds here. I'm right in the middle of the bouldering area. Cool campusing right there. And then here behind me, you see all of the rope climbing, which goes all the way up to this, I don't know, 50 foot space. So I'm really excited to get some climbs in here. It's a very, very nice gym, nice and quiet today. And I'm just gonna start at V0, work my way up, see if I could get any sevens or eights in this gym, and just give you my thoughts on the gym. So stay tuned. All right, I traveled really light on this trip, so I don't have a gimbal on me or any alternate lenses. So forgive the static tripod shots. I'll try to commentate through them. The V1s here are pretty standard. I really like that they have different holds than what I'm used to though. More texture on them. A lot of these are dual text holds, but it's just really nice to feel new plastic every once in a while. The next climb that I tried is this hot pink V2. Pretty vertical climbing and they're all very juggy. You just have to keep your body position in the right spot, but obviously you have feet everywhere. Really nice climb. The mats here are a little stiff, but not stiffer than the refuge. It's weird, but nonetheless, nothing to complain about. Let's move on to a V3. All right, before we get mega pumped, I'm gonna jump on a V3 green hold. All pretty juggy, straightforward. So instead, I'm just gonna give you guys some more thoughts on Denver. Colorado is nice. We're in the middle of a heat wave right now. It's like 90 degrees, but still, there's just so much greenery everywhere. There's a lot of outdoorsy things to do. We rode some e-bikes yesterday, which was really fun. And the food here is pretty amazing, very diverse. Um, <laughs> the people of Boulder are not as diverse, I must say. Not a positive or a negative, I'm just saying. But yeah, let's move on to a V4. All right, this thing looks pretty cool. These holds are ones I have never seen before. They're either gonna be really good or really bad, so let's jump on. Started with the left hand on the volume, right hand on the jug. Going up to the next left hand was good. You had to bring high feet up to go to the next volume and really bring your body weight over to the left so you could stay on that hold. And then the next move was the hardest because you really had to trust your feet but the hold up to the right was very, very good. Small left hand crimp, finish. But I really liked these holds. I could see them doing some really cool stuff with this. All right, let's do another overhang before I get super pumped. This yellow thing behind me here, looks like it has really good holds, might not even be V5-ish, but I think I could flash it. Let's give it a burn. One thing I really do like about this gym is that they put the name of the setter and the date it was set on the tags. I would love for the refuge to do that so we could talk smack about which setter did what climb. But that's a very cool feature. All right, check this thing out on this huge slab wall over here. It starts right here and you've got some feet down there and another volume there. But I think they're making you kind of jump to that jug on the volume. And then from there, some pretty good jugs to the top finish hold right there. <laughs> this one's gonna be interesting. I don't think I'm gonna get it first go, but let's give it a burn. Okay. Yeah, dude. Sick, I got a local showing me the beta over here. 
and he did a textbook. Right foot on the pyramid, left foot, right foot, fly off into the volume. And now he's doing a sick heel hook to get up to that nice jug. And the rest of the holds look pretty straightforward. That was sick, dude. Very clean. Wow. It's pretty hard to control that swing. Yeah, the hardest part about that V5 was controlling that swing. The actual coordination part was pretty cool. All right, dude, thanks for the beta on that coordination move. No problem. What's your name? Jackson. Can you uh, show me maybe a cool V6? You said yeah. this one's sandbagged over there? The, yeah, that the one's black really one is? sandbagged. That one looks cool, man, but if you show me beta on the pink one, that might be kind of cool. <sighs> Pretty slopey holds. Small crimp he's going to right hand. Nice foot out to bump up right. And then, oh, I didn't think he'd use that hole on top of the volume, but that makes sense. Yeah, to go right hand. Sick, dude. And I'll show you the steepness of the wall here. He's doing really, really well. Sick, dude, come on. Yes. Dude, you cruised it. It's really, that one's really easy. You mind filming me on the black V6? Yeah, for sure. So would you say the grades here at your gym are like right on or are they no. pretty soft or? Some of them are sandbagged. This one's V7. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me just give it a burn, man. Sweet. Wow, this hold's kind of tricky. <sighs> so far so good, right man? Yeah, for sure. These holds are dual techs, so they're kind of tricky. <sighs> oh man, this is tricky. Pretty pumped out, dude. You think I should go left or right? Uh, I'd say. Uh, yeah, I think I gotta somehow hold that so I could come out to that, right? For sure. Man. I wanna try the upper section. That was gnarly. I don't know if it felt like a V7, but that top part's hard. This move's gonna be hard if you're shorter, but he's getting a nice right heel hook, camming it. And this next move's gonna be tricky. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's a big move for you. Uh-huh. That's why it's so sandbagged. Sick. Wow, dude. The gym here is pretty nice. I like it. All right, as much as I'd like to try that V6 again, I'm gonna save a little bit of energy for the seven. Looks like it starts two hands down here and you're on these types of holds. And uh, I don't know, the first move's really big going up to that right hand. And then it looks like it, <laughs> Doesn't get any better. All right, Jackson, pretty big first move, but I think I'm pretty tall, so I think I'll be okay. Left, right, left, right, and then finish at the top jug? Yeah. Okay. No, you have to go all the way to the top of the top wall. Top of the wall? Yep. Okay, not too shabby. You got this. Right foot over here. And then left hand, right? Uh, yeah. Shoot. This move is the crux. Oh, the volume. Yeah, that move's supposed to be the crux. Yeah, that's a, it's not a very good left hand. Yeah. Have you gotten to that? Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> I've stuck the first move and that's all. Okay, all right, I definitely have to figure out my feet on that one. Uh, but coming into that left grip, you really have to stand up, so you, got, you need something to push off of. And then I think the hardest move will be at the top being on that left hand pinch, crossing over right. Let's see how it goes. Okay, let me give this one more burn. Come on. You got this. Come on, fight. Fight, you got this. Ah. Perfect. Come on. Okay, we're almost there, dude. You got this.
Oh. Ah. Oh. I didn't so know I had a left hand right there. I thought I had to just left hand, fly off. Dude, it's so close. That felt a lot better though. The thing about our the climbs here is once you mix, once you get one move, the entire route's cake. Yeah, I feel you. All right, Jackson had to leave, but super nice meeting you, dude. You're a crusher. I'm gonna try that black V7 one more time. There's a left pinch at the top that I didn't see earlier. See if I could send that. But overall, I really like the setting at this gym. The problems are all really unique, creative, and the holds are great. They have really, really nice holds here that we don't have over in Las Vegas. So I'm jealous of that. But yeah, let's just climb a little bit more. All right, let's do it. Let's go, best go. Come on, you got this. I was pretty sketch. Thought I was gonna slip off of this thing, but just had to push off of that foot. Trust the jug up here. Six end. All right, I'm gonna have to get going. The wife is calling me. It's time for dinner. I'm gonna jump on this V8 behind me. It's like a yellow hold. Looks very aesthetically pleasing. I know it's gonna be hard, but it's still gonna be fun to try. Oh man, lots of tension. All right guys, that V8 was definitely hard. <laughs> uh, that's gonna do it for this video. I'll be back in Las Vegas next week. If you like that, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. All right, before I leave, <laughs> I'm gonna film this guy I just met, Sean, on the V8. I stuck the left hand move eventually, but it is hard. Going to the next left, you really want to get high. He got it right in the sweet spot in the middle. Sick heel. Let's go, Sean, come on. Yeah, dude. That's it. Yeah, man, that was sick.